biggest thing I can tell you. Mm -hmm. Do not take whoever we play in the first round lightly. Whoever doesn't take care of business goes home, it's over. I don't care what their record is. I don't care anything about them. They're in our way of our dream. Do something no one else has ever done. So that's your attitude. The first round being single elimination, there's always some anxiety going into that game just because it's baseball. Things don't always work out in life the way you want them to. Because, I mean, when you step on the field, I mean, it's baseball, anything can happen. Challenge is presented by Lake Charles area Chevy dealers. You know, first round, uh, you're playing, uh, we were the two seed. Uh, we had 31st seed Houghton out of Shreveport. First step in the playoffs, in the playoffs is today. And I can't emphasize this enough. These guys are in our way. They're in our way. I don't care what their name is. I don't care anything about them. That's why I haven't talked that much about them. We're gonna do whatever it takes to win. Get on the plate. Put the ball in play, lock in. Fuller's gonna pound the zone. We're gonna come after. We score, we score some more. Keep scoring. They're in our way of our dreams. That's the bottom line. So we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from you. That's the kingdom of God. Hey, have fun. I always tell you that. Have fun. Why? Because the more fun you have, the better you're gonna do. Let's go. Hey! Where's Miller? Come on, Miller! Hey, look, ride in the dirt, because he's, you know, he's only one. Oh! Whew. That was beautiful! We started young, yell it! We started young, Randy, yell it! His first cousin is Slate Fuller, the guy that was pitching the first game and, and pitching the state championship game and won. Yeah, he's a little cute little guy. He practiced, he's a year old. And, Thought he did a great job. It was amazing. That was great, Miller. Grant, we need your energy. Let's go, Fuller. Let's go, Broke. Let's go, tie the guy. Tie the guy. Let's go, go, Jay. Let's go, B. Let's go, Banks. Make it on Banks. Let's go, Tanner. Story going. Fight, Dumont. We really thought we had a great chance to win. We'd won 10 games in a row. We won uh, every game in the second half of the district. Four Peak Challenge is presented by Lake Charles area Chevy dealers. Also brought to you by Sonic, Johnny's Pizza House, Casio Sports Medicine, Cox Cox, Philo, Camel, and Wilson. Folks in Southwest Louisiana demand a dependable truck, and the Chevy Silverado is the most dependable, longest-lasting full-size truck on the road over the last 30 years. Plus, the 2017 J.D. Power Dependability Study confirms Chevrolet is the number one domestic brand with full-size trucks, while Ford and Ram are dead last. So for the most dependable full-size truck, check out the 2017 Chevy Silverado today at your Lake Charles area Chevy dealers. Jim and Wilcox founded the Cox Law Firm in 1969 at the height of the Civil Rights Movement. Their core beliefs were serving our community and treating their clients like family. 47 years later, we're still a family-run business and still committed to those values. We live here, we're raising our families here. And when we're successful, it's not just our clients who receive justice. It's our entire community. Awesome, man. Every shake half price after eight? Yeah, man, even this ice cream slush? It's so cool, looks like a lot of people got the memo. Why didn't I get one? Oh, is it because I don't have one of them fancy printer phones? A fax machine? I don't know, man, I can't keep up with this technology. DJ, you have a smartphone. Yeah, and I use it every day, and it hasn't made me any smarter. But that's not, the, that's a cherry stem. Cherry stem. And my straw's broken. Did you get the memo? Shakes and new ice cream slushes are half price after 8 p.m. This is how you Sonic.
first we wasn't sure we were going to play on Monday or Tuesday. So it was all depending on whether they was going to have transportation or not. And then we found out we were playing Tuesday. And it, was, it looked like it was about to rain. So it was like sluggish. And it kind of felt like the Grace Christian game last year. It just felt sluggish and everything was moving slow the whole day. Yes! I want to hit your spots. Hey, he's consistent behind there. Hit your spots. Got to work him, work him right there. Slight, that's a great job. Great job. Let's go, guys. They're in our way of our dreams. Let's go. Whatever could have went wrong, went wrong for us. You know, we, uh, at the beginning of the game, we, we, get, uh, we have a swinging bunt hit, and we have a perfect uh, sacrifice bunt, and we don't score a run that first inning, and, and uh, we got caught stealing. We usually don't get caught. And, you know, we're probably 92% success rate for the year. We were so good defensively all year long. I mean, we were incredible. Um, we feel like 975, which is one of the highest fielding percentages in the history of bar. You know, we just there were some plays that we had guys that had opportunities that that made <laughs> very few errors the whole year, and they, they were they weren't easy plays, but they were plays that they're gonna make 100% of the time. Actually, the umpires got it wrong. They made a, it was supposed to be one plus one. They gave the guy one plus one plus another one when the ball went through the little crack in the gate. I mean, still don't know how the ball went through. There's just a small area where it could go through, and it hadn't gone through all year. Never gone through over there, and it went through. You just let him talk you into it. No, no, I didn't. It's not I didn't, the rule yet. I didn't listen to what he had to say. He, but he, you made the call, and then you changed it. No, I, I said, Dead ball, and we're going to determine where he was. I wouldn't look at him. It doesn't ball. matter where he was. Yes, he was, he was almost at third. Oh, so no. No, that's not the rule. It was first and second. That's Correct. what it was. Correct. So he, he was running the second, he gets to go to third. That's where he gets no, to he go. He was already past second, almost oh, to third. That's not the rule. You had it right the first time. Unbelievable. And they awarded the runner an extra run. And that became significant 
because instead of chasing one, down one nothing, we were chasing two. Actually, I made two crucial errors, you know, and like, at, after that, at that point, you know, like, I felt like bad, you know, but like, I got over there at some point, but like, I just like knew like we were gonna score some runs, so like I didn't think it'd be that big of a deal. It was real slow. When I went to catch it, I got it, but like it had a weird spin on it, so I didn't really have a good grip, and the run was like halfway there, so I just kind of like tried to speed up, and I guess it just, I just threw it away. Well, that's my job on this team to be a leader, and uh, I knew Brian was hurt after that second error because you know they scored two runs, so, and we had a lot of ball game left, so it's just my job to just keep him focused. But it's one plus one. Check, just, I know it's over now, but. He made the wrong call. He should have went to third. It's one because I, plus I, one. Listen, well, I just asked him, right? I went the ball there. He should have got what well, he had second. Because if he wasn't at second, then one plus one. He should have stayed at third. Yeah, if, if, if so we been. can let's let's bring the run back. Yeah. So if I would have talked to you, would you have brought it back? I would have told him what we saw. I would have talked to him, yes, sir. You let him change the call. I mean, that was that's, no, no. That's, I didn't let him change the call. I told him he, he talked. No, 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 no. Let him go back. No, he asked me had he got third base. Would when you I, have overturned it? Be honest. Because it was one plus one. Is what it was. Yeah, it's one plus one. I hope we don't lose this game because of that. Come on, come on. We knew Houghton was good. They beat Airline one to nothing the game before. We knew that pitcher was very good. He was being recruited by Louisiana Tech. In Louisiana, in 5A, there, every team basically has at least one pitcher that you know can go up, can match up against anybody and beat anybody on any given day. You're all right, doing a great job. Hey, I shut these guys down. We're going to score next inning. Let's go. Yes. Good job, Good job Slight. Out of my sight. Hey, come on up. Guys, guys, listen to me. Come here. Put pressure on these guys. The third baseman plays in. You saw what he's done. He can't do nothing. Put pressure on these guys and fold. All we gotta do is put a little pressure. Let's go. Come on. Hey, hit on three. One, two, three. Hit. Hey, be smart, too, man. Be smart. Hey, be real smart. Attaboy. Here we come. Let's go. Great job. Here we go, Slate. Hey, so what? Hey, hey, so what? So what? So what? Let's go. So basically what was going on is anytime you would try to communicate with the hitter or the base runner or us coaches in the dugout or the team in the dugout, the other team, they were yelling as loud as they could to, to kind of drown out his voice. So every time I talk, they try to talk. It's chicken. Oh, yes. Let's go. Glory, you're in. Hey, come on, let's go. Keep battling, come here. Keep battling, keep battling. Let's go. Hey, guys. Fuller, you're going to first. Good job, you're going to first. We'll mix it up. Let's go. Let's go, guys. So I can get the message to my hitter. Because every time I talk, listen to them, they all start yelling. All right. So that's, that's, I would never do that to another team. It's, it's uh, unsportsmanlike. <laughs> hey, see it up. See it up. Hear that? Un, unsportsmanlike. It's garbage. Hey. Well, I'll tell you what, tell them to shut up, and then I can. Because that is the most unsportsmanlike thing I've ever seen. Coach, is that what you guys are about every time I talk? Your guys yell? Don't act like you. That's, that's unsportsmanlike. I just think that's Bush League. I, I just think, I, I mean, my players wouldn't do it. If they did it, we'd put an end to it. They were being as loud as they could so I couldn't communicate with my players. And, and of course, that came from their coaching staff. Nobody does that unsolicited. And it was addressed during the game. And you don't want to really, you know, you bring it up and you sound like you're whining, but I went up to the umpire and said, hey, I, I want to be able to talk to my players. 
during their at-bats, keep them in the game. That's part of our psychological ploys to keep the kids up and positive and upbeat and checked in. Coach, every time I say something, you guys yell. That, that's unbelievable. So we just need to yell all the time. I called timeout and I told the umpire, I'm gonna have to keep coming over, delaying the game, and, and I'm walking over to talk to my players. And he let me do that, to his credit. I don't think there's a place for that. I think it's poor sportsmanship. So we see what you're about, coach. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, hey. It's unbelievable. We knew what they were doing. We just had to just keep, uh, keep playing our game, you know. They were just trying to get in our head and like, we couldn't let that happen. Hey, you get on base. You get on base, we score. Atta boy, get out of here. And I was seeing the ball very good, and uh, he left a change up up. And I hit one into the gap, and I'm thinking it's a triple. And when I'm around in second, I see that he dove and caught the ball, and I was like, wow, I didn't even know he could get to that ball. Hey guys, listen to me. You have nine more outs. Seniors, nine more outs for your career. All right, we're gonna be okay. But don't wait till the last inning, all right? Keep putting the pressure, Kirk, when he hit it, we're fine. Let's go, let's get him right Let's now. go, man, let's go! Hey, here's three, one, two, three, yeah. here! We're all right. We got six more outs. Put pressure on them. We're fine. All right, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. and hit his foot. Absolutely positive. Absolutely. He hit his foot though. I'm telling you, he hit his foot. Have you ever seen a guy running down saying it hit his foot? Why would a kid do that? Gotta be right there. We got three more outs, guys. Three more outs. Still got three. Let's go. Shut them down. Three more outs for you seniors. That's it. All right? There's no doubt. If you truly believe we can come back and win this game, there's no doubt. Don't try to hit a two-run home run with no one on base. Just get on base. Put pressure on them, and we could do it. Let's go. 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 I mean, we've been down before. Like, I wasn't worried. I, was, I had the feeling that we were going to come out, and one of those innings just score like a bunch. Get on base, Kirk. You can do it. You can do it. Box 
Jesus is coming back. If it was one to nothing, we would have butted the guy over and it could change everything. Let's go, Littleton, no bunny. Let's go, get on base. Find a way to get on. After like that last thing they turned that double play, like it knocked all the life out of us because it was like we gotta get like a like a lot of hits, like at least score two runs, and that's the last inning, you know. So like that kind of took life out of us. It's the first time in 20 years we lost in the first round. And after winning three state championships. You know, that, that's the last thing you think's gonna happen. I couldn't even believe it was real, you know. Uh, all the hard work, all the four years that was that we put in was just going on this first round. I couldn't even, like, I couldn't even absorb it. It didn't feel real. It, like, it really didn't hit me till, I guess, when I woke up the next day. Honestly, I blame myself, actually, like, for the longest, because I just felt like if I'd have made those plays, like, they wouldn't have had those two runs. So, I mean, I kind of blame myself, but after a while, I got over it. The feeling of losing in the first round is a bitter taste, especially for me, swinging and missing to strike three to end the game. Just knowing that I could have done something more to help this team win and move on. It was, I mean, devastating at that time. It was. I mean, life goes on, you're going to move on, you're going to grow from it. But we had dreams, we had aspirations. Yeah, it hurts, man. Come on in, guys. Let's give a hug. Come here. Yeah, I love you guys. It hurts, man, I know. Love you guys. Sometimes in life, things don't work out the way you want them to. Thanks for the effort. Thanks for all the hard work. I love you guys, man. This one game doesn't define us. I love you, man. Love you guys. There was no words that were going to make him feel better. There, there was, it was just, everybody knew what just happened. I think everybody was in shock. <laughs> People were crying uncontrollably. Some were just silent, sobbing. <laughs> the 2017 team, that four peak challenge, that's just not going to become a reality. Four peak challenge thanks to friends of Bar Baseball, Lakeside Bank, the way banking should be, and Twisted Vines Lawn and Landscaping. I'm Brett Cassio, a board certified orthopedic sports medicine specialist. I could tell you all about my training at Duke University and Johns Hopkins Hospital or my experience with the Baltimore Orioles. But what people ask me the most is how I would treat my own family if they were injured. And what I tell them is I would treat your family the way I would treat my own. Not every surgeon is board certified and fellowship trained in sports medicine. Training and experience matter. Folks in Southwest Louisiana demand a dependable truck. And the Chevy Silverado is the most dependable, longest-lasting full-size truck on the road over the last 30 years. Plus, the 2017 J.D. Power Dependability Study confirms Chevrolet is the number one domestic brand with full-size trucks, while Ford and Ram are dead last. So for the most dependable full-size truck, check out the 2017 Chevy Silverado today at your Lake Charles area Chevy dealers. For 50 years, Johnny's Pizza House has called you our neighbors and shared in those moments. We are looking forward to 50 more. When we think of a personal injury, most of us think about an accident caused by the negligence of another. But not every injury will show up on an x-ray. Some are caused by damages and losses to a business or personal finances. But they can be just as devastating as bodily injuries. No matter how you've been injured, our team at Cox, Cox, Philo, Camel, and Wilson will take the time to know you and your case. It's important to us because it matters to you. Davis Mesh, number 24. I play shortstop and I pitch, and I'm a freshman. It's been unbelievable. I've never had so much fun. The senior group, they really took me in. I had a lot of fun with them. And just being able to play, it was an amazing experience. We know how it feels now, and it wasn't good, so 
We're going to come out here ready to play, and I think we're going to win it all next year. Carter Quinn, number 18. I play center field, and I'm a sophomore. Experience was great. Just having a role to play for Bard. I mean, everybody wants to play for Bard growing up, so just uh, having the opportunity to come out and play for a program like this is just amazing. It's unbelievable. Uh, just a bitter taste in my mouth. Just going to help me move on from this, get better next year, and uh, hopefully make us be number one on top. Isaac Dubelshan, number 25. I pitch and I'm a sophomore. I pitched a good bit last year. I knew this year I'd have a bigger role in helping the team out and pitch more innings. So I just knew I had to come out and be ready. And uh, the senior class, that was a great class, being with them and playing with them. Well, we know how the feeling was and uh, it wasn't good. So we just gotta know that next year we're gonna come after everybody and uh, I think we're gonna win it all. Four Peak Challenge is presented by Lake Charles area Chevy dealers. Also brought to you by Sonic, Johnny's Pizza House, Casio Sports Medicine, Cox Cox, Philo, Camel, and Wilson. When we think of a personal injury, most of us think about an accident caused by the negligence of another. But not every injury will show up on an x-ray. Some are caused by damages and losses to a business or personal finances but they can be just as devastating as bodily injuries. No matter how you've been injured, our team at Cox, Cox, Philo, Camel, and Wilson will take the time to know you and your case. It's important to us because it matters to you. For 50 years, Johnny's Pizza House has called you our neighbors and shared in those moments. We are looking forward to 50 more. Folks in Southwest Louisiana demand a dependable truck, and the Chevy Silverado is the most dependable, longest-lasting full-size truck on the road over the last 30 years. Plus, the 2017 J.D. Power Dependability Study confirms Chevrolet is the number one domestic brand with full-size trucks, while Ford and Ram are dead last. So for the most dependable full-size truck, check out the 2017 Chevy Silverado today at your Lake Charles area Chevy dealers. Things don't always work out in life the way you want them to. And we've all been blessed. I mean, look what's happened at Barb. I mean, they, they've been part of a national championship, three consecutive state championships, a district championship this year. You know, we won 29 games and lost seven, you know. But we'll be back. When you really feel you can do something and you're in the right position, you put the time and effort in, and it doesn't happen, man, it hurts. I think that this is, this is a, extremely special group of players that laid all the line and loved what they did and it just didn't work out at the end the way we wanted it to be but when they reflect on this day when they reflect that they're there four years at bar I guarantee you I don't think there's any class coming in that wouldn't say hey you're gonna come in in four years you're gonna win three state championships three district championships and win a national championship would you take it I don't think any program the state of Louisiana is going to say, no, I wouldn't take that. And that's what this class did.